Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. We begin with meteorologist John Smith in the forecast. Hi, John. Hi, Elizabeth. With high pressure shifting over the state the next couple of days, we'll have to squeeze in what little moisture we can underneath that ridge. Best chances of showers and storms this afternoon over the northern mountains and into the west central high terrain as well. And that will be the case through Tuesday, too. We'll see that shower and storm activity in the afternoon once again, but again, from the northern mountains and into western portions of the state. But by Wednesday, that ridge of high pressure over the state will shift to our east, and that will open up the door for much better moisture, which will mean much more in the way of shower and storm activity. Albuquerque's latest homicide victim has been identified, and the person who killed him is still on the loose. The victim is being identified as Richard Glass, and cops say the suspect uh, came into the National Jewelry Buyer Store near Coors and Irving Friday night, as you can see here in the surveillance video, when they say he shot and killed the man working there. Now, this again is surveillance video from Friday night. A robber wearing a black hoodie enters the business, pulling out a gun and opens fire. Now, signs were posted on the store's window over the weekend, recognizing and remembering the victim. The store will remain closed indefinitely. Albuquerque police say the robber turned killer likely knew the layout of the store or had possibly cased the store before going in. Police say he took off in an older model Ford Crown Victoria with black wheels. Jury selection is underway in the trial of a man accused of killing a couple visiting New Mexico. John McCluskey and Tracy Province escaped from an Arizona prison back in 2010. With the help of another person named Kathleen Welch, they allegedly carjacked and killed the couple at a rest stop near Santa Rosa. The couple's trailer was found burned days after the incident. In a plea deal, the two that allegedly helped McCluskey agreed to testify against him. Jury selection is expected to go on for about three weeks, but the trial itself could last about three months. McCluskey is facing the death penalty if he's convicted. Be sure to stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day.